I personally believe that mobile detailing is one of the easiest, fastest, and most lucrative side hustles that you can actually start, and it can be done by the worst mobile detailer out there and still make a ton of money using my one basic system. And I'm serious, if I decided to take two random guys off the street, all I have to do is give them the equipment and show them what to do and how to do it, I guarantee they would make a ton of money. In this video, I'm going to break down that exact process to you and how you could become the most lucrative detailer even being the worst detail in your city. Nobody's going to believe me, and that's completely understandable. If you were going to start your own mobile detailing business, it's just like any other service business, right? Oh man, it's going to cost a ton of money to start. You're going to have to come up with a process of how you're going to clean the customer's stuff. You're going to have to market and how you're going to get the jobs. You're going to have to convert the leads. The different things that you're going to have to deal with, you're going to have to expect, and you're going to have to understand that whenever you're starting a business, it's not going to be easy. And that's only if you're starting the wrong kind of business. When it comes to equipment that you're going to need for mobile detailing, it really only comes down to offering the basic services, trying to get jobs done as fast as you possibly can, and then understanding that the quality the customer expects is not out of this entire world. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments from all of your customers for free, then check out QuotaQ in the App Store and the Google Play Store, or you can try any paid tier right now for just $1 at MyQuotaQ.com, which is going to be the first link in the comment section and the description. Also, if you sign up for any tier for a year using my link, you're going to get a free coaching call with me. And I would never say that you should go into a mobile detailing job and go into your mobile detailing business assuming I don't need to offer the most incredible quality possible. I'm just saying that you don't need to spend six hours at a customer's house detailing their one singular car for a couple hundred dollars whenever you could be slamming through mobile detailings over and over and over and over, meeting new people, meeting more people, and then gaining more references so that you can continue on serving new customers. You just need to find the ability to offer extremely quality service as fast as possible. This being said, there's not a ton of different things that you're going to have to go through a car. A lot of people are going to a car wash. All they're doing is getting it vacuumed and having the outside washed. Well, how well are they going to be interior cleaning? Not as well as you're going to be able to do with a ton of different mobile detailing equipment as well as I like to have somebody help so that as I'm starting off I'm using the vacuum I'm going through with multiple different tips the first one I have it's a long skinny tip I'm just going through trying to get every little piece all the easy garbage to see underneath the seats around everything in all the cup holders while my partner goes around the entire car with a brush soap as well as a rag going through making sure that everything has the initial dust and grime cut off of it as well as trying to just make sure that everything gets shiny so I can come back over with my second tip that I'm going to have to remove the dust with or anything that's actually left, any particles. All of this is, of course, easier said than done. This is a process that we've gone over for a long, 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 long time. You just want to make sure that you hit everything that you can possibly see with your vacuum. Like I said, it doesn't have to be rags to riches or zero to hero, but you want to get everything that's extremely visible and almost have about 95% of the stuff off of the carpet while he went around and cleaned all the surfaces off, made them look brand new. Then if you need to do any additional work together, you're probably going to have to work on a lot of the cup holders moving the change out. Uh, you going in with the vacuum, getting rid of all the initial stuff while he's using a spray bottle and a brush to get all the stuff inside of there, all the gunk that's been sitting there for a long time. So there's some things that you're going to need to work on together and then some things that you're just going to flow around the car. He's working on the front, you're working on the back. The steering wheel is one of the most important spots. Hit everything that's definitely visible and then all the stuff underneath the seats that the customer isn't even going to know if you hit or not, you definitely want to hit. Then after that, you're going to start working on the exterior of the car. Now you're going to go through with your pressure washer, do an initial rinse. Then you're going to have your foam cannon. Use a wax solution. They have some of those soaps out there. I'm not sure which one mine is called, but it's a yellow one. And it also provides a waxing agent so that the car, while they're rubbing in and he's going around rubbing in all the soap on the car while I'm washing it off, it's making everything shiny. You can see the reflection off of the car and it's wonderful then you're going to hit the rims then i'm going to come back over in the end and i'm going to wash everything off make sure there's no soap left on the car while he finishes up i'm cleaning the windows and his finishing job is to wipe off everything dry off the car and you have to think of the overall what did it actually take to do this entire cleaning i don't leave any car half-assed trust me when i'm going through i offer extremely good quality that way i can retain customers and service my customers that i actually literally get every three weeks every four weeks that way every time i'm cleaning their vehicles it's super easy it's not hard and I'm making the same amount of money because I'm the one that put in that initial work so you're gonna go through and you're gonna get better at it and better at it and now we're offering fast service so I me and him try to get out of there every single job about two hours if we go over that's okay of course but you want to be moving through jobs very 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 fast not sitting at a mobile detailing job for hours and hours and hours offering extremely pointless services this way now my customer base can't even afford my prices so I'm not only not cleaning as many cars I'm sitting there cleaning them 
longer more miserably whenever I do end up getting jobs. So my way requires less equipment, requires less time, also is way more convenient for the customer price-wise and time-wise. The entire two hours you're working with somebody else and you're not even having to do that much actual labor, you know, the vacuuming part is going to be really hard, the washing part is going to be hard, whoever is going to go around and provide all the exterior washing, not using the pressure washer, it's going to be a difficult job and everything is extremely tedious. It's mobile detailing, right? You're hitting every single detail inside of a customer's car. I don't take any car seats out. I don't clean any overhead. I don't clean any carpets. Only offer the most basic services. That way I can give an extremely high quality wash that doesn't require me to have all kinds of different equipment and make my business super complicated. That way, if I ever want to bring anybody on, my process is super simple. It's also very subconscious. So now every time I go into a job, I know exactly what step number one is. I know what step number 25 is. And the cleanings are all coming out the same quality, super high quality. And I know how to wash different vehicles and I know how much time each different vehicle is going to take. And when you think about overall all the products that we had to use, how much money probably it would cost to run this detailing business with the services that we offer, I use microfiber towels, a pressure washer, a vacuum with multiple tips. We do have uh, a couple spray bottles. We have some detailing brushes. I do have my foam cannon. We have a water bucket that we always fill up. You will need a drying towel for the outside of the car. And then you're probably just going to need a little bit of soap. I definitely recommend this waxing solution agent soap. I'm going to have to find the name for you guys. But if you use that, the car exterior is going to look ridiculous, especially after he rubs it all in. And then you're going to need a spray bottle to have, you know, just keep spraying more soap onto the car and getting a good wash. But to be honest with you, at the end of the day, like I always say, you want to keep your side hustle is extremely easy, extremely simple. You want your process to be massively replicatable. You want the amount of equipment that you're starting with to be an easy initial investment that's not going to bankrupt you. It's not going to be awful if you decide, you know what, this isn't what I like to do. You can sell off all your equipment super easy peasy without having to hope somebody purchases your $100,000 mobile detailing or trash can cleaning setup. If you are able to sell off a couple different things individually, maybe it's like $1,100, that is not a huge loss. This is not something that's going to hold you back if you decide, hey, listen, this is not for me. Maybe I'm not the best mobile detailer out there. Maybe I don't offer the most insane services out there. Maybe the transformations that I go through are not incredible. They're not rags to riches. They're not zero to hero. But every time I'm going to a car, I know my process. I know what's going to happen. I always have the customer satisfied. I, maybe the customer isn't thinking this is the most perfect detail that I've ever seen, but that is not what it requires to continue servicing customers. That's not what it even requires to get references from other customers. People like people. They like to see that you're, an e, you're a good business. You're consistent consistent, the prices are not awful, and that you show up every time, and that's what's going to continue to make your business more money. Case, I could literally start this business up with all the equipment, knowing what I know, take two random guys off the street that want to start a business, and give them exactly what they need, the whole replicatable process, and make them as much money as they desire. If you guys want to learn how I've made thousands of dollars with low-ticket services like trash can cleaning and mobile detailing, check out the second link in the comment section description. There, you're going to gain access to our school community. In the community, we have multiple courses, including my own course on trash can cleaning, as well was the course that I explained how I've gotten my first $10,000 in clients for completely free. In the community, you're also going to get access to the before and after pictures that I use to land these jobs, as well as an entire community full of like-minded individuals who want to start these low-ticket services. So if you're ready to get started, check out the second link in the comment section description. We're running a special discount for the first couple of people that do join, so if you want to lock it in at the cheapest price and get the most value, join today.